Hi there Steph, thanks for popping by. So today's video is just to show you how to use my SVG files. So I, you might come from my Etsy shop uh, and have bought one of my SVG uh, files or you may just be on YouTube and looking for how to turn a uh, score line showing as basic cut into actual score line. So I'm going to show you that today because I found it difficult to find up to recently and I just thought it would be helpful for people who buy my SVG file. So to in this video I will work with the treasure box. So I am in um, Cricut Design Space and I have already uploaded my file so that is straightforward and I will add it onto my canvas. And don't worry it's something that you only need to do once really or every time you re-upload the image but once you've added the SVG file and you turn all the line into score lines and then save your project uh, it will remain as it is. If you do create a new project then you have to do it again but I promise it doesn't take that long and it's quite straightforward. So obviously SVG files are great because you can stretch them or reduce them as much as you want without losing um, the line. You know sometimes it becomes a bit pixelized and stuff like that. With SVG file it stays neat, the lines are neat and crisps and I like that. <laughs> so here's my image um, and then on the side you can see all the little lines that are part of it. And if you scroll to the bottom you will find an orange shape and that is the outline of my shape that I actually want to cut out so that's great. So I will start selecting the lines. So I will click control on my keyboard and then just go up and click every line up to the top. Keep pressing control while you do that. And once you reach the top, you can go on the left hand side of your screen to operation. And in a drop down list, instead of basing cut, you're going to select score. And you will see on the right hand side, the word is going to change takes a few seconds. There you go. Uh, the word is going to change and my line are no longer straight full lines but dashed lines. It will still be a straight scoring line because that's how I set it up but it shows as a dash line to tell you okay I've changed that to score line but it's good don't worry it's fine. So once you've done that you can select the whole um, file and you go to the bottom of your screen and you click attach and then all you need to do is press make it. I tend to use a, um, sorry I'm looking for my cardstock, I use a cardstock that's about 230 GSM because I find it quite sturdy uh, and here I wanted to show you an example because I think it's nice to see what you're doing. So that's the little box, I use floral patterns, the works in the UK has loads of different patterns uh, but I'm sure every country has their own shop and then you can open it so there's a bit of a leap here Sorry, here there's a bit of a lip so it tucks in into the top and you just fold it gently and put it in. There you go. So I used on this one, I've used some double sided tape um, but I find that if you're going to put something heavy in it like chocolate for Christmas for example, uh, it's quite nice to use a hot glue gun because then it's really sturdy. But the cardstock, you know, it's it's good car stock, it's quite solid, so 230 GSM I think is the way to go. So I hope you find that helpful. Uh, if you're coming from my Hetsy shop, uh, thank you for visiting. If you're coming from YouTube, please do head over to my Hetsy shop and see all my SVG files. Um, I have some shapes like boxes and I also have some quotes and things like that. And I will put the link in the description. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps other people find it. And if you have any questions, please drop them down and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.